Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we gave the uh, Empire a massive thrashing. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at some discoveries, because that's the plan. Uh, we've got a few here that we can actually, should be able to somewhat easily knock off, so we might as well. Now, unfortunately, the thing with these discoveries, if we do leave them too late we will lose uh, the ability to claim them or at least we'll get significantly less money for them anyway so let's go around and collect everything shall we oh man that's that's a lot of dudes uh no can't do reign of swords damn it son of a okay attack let's go for you know the drill. Everybody else, just fight on, as always. See how many of these bastards we can actually kill. I'm guessing not many. Or, you know, almost all of them. But they're all going to run away anyway. Because, you know. That's one of the, as I've said before, the most irritating things about this battle system. is just, like, the enemies running away. You know, I've never understood that. Don't waste my time with a battle if the enemies are just going to run away and leave you with mostly nothing. It just really does seem quite pointless. Anywho, let's keep exploring. Now we can finally go through this rift over here and discover the uh, ice empire, or whatever they call it. Let's see that person all the way up there above the clouds. We obviously can't get above the clouds. Ooh, hello. Everybody, pile on. You know, for the longest time I was thinking about uh, skipping as many battles as we could and stuff like that. But uh, I've been watching a Let's Play kind of on and off for ages of Tales of Symphonia. And the person that's playing it, it's, it's a really good Let's Play, right? Uh, I have been watching it for probably over a year now. Uh, one video every now and again when I get some time. And they skip an awful lot of battles. Uh, due to the fact that they're not enjoying the fights that much. Now, unfortunately with that, they've got to a point where they're very underleveled. <laughs> I don't want that to happen to us. So anyway, you have found the lands of ice, a frozen continent sleeping quietly under the light of the purple moon. Ancient legends and myths speak of it as a land of the dead. The true nature remains unknown until it is discovered by Vays of the Blue Rogues. Yes, excellent. Now, there's some stuff over here to explore and to find. That is exactly what we're going to do. Should be some uh, chap here somewhere in the ice. Uh, a little bit further on. And it's just fun to fill out the map as well, I think. What have we got here? Oh! Well, hello there. And of course you'd be ice. Should be able to finish him off with Cutlass Fury, you know? Oh, or, you know, Ica could just completely destroy it with one hit. Either or, I guess. Wow, look at the amount of gold and stuff we got for killing that. Yeah, that was worth. Oh my god, we're going to be fighting every one of those that we can. Ooh, we have found the Aurora. Okay, or Aurea. A spectacle of... Um, it is Aura, isn't it? Aura Borealis, yeah, Aura. Uh, a spectacle of light that has graced the skies above the lands of ice since ancient times. Auras are thought to be caused by the gravity of the moons, and once every 3,000 years, the convergence of a moon creates auras worldwide. Excellent! Well, we'll be taking that bad boy. Now, anything else? Is that really the edge of this... Ah, look, we've gone full circle. That's kind of cute. And of course, more glorious combat. Ooh, look at these things. Um, now, I'm guessing because they're ice, 
they're weak to fire. Now that is a guess. Not 100% sure. We're fighting strange penguin things. Also, those loopers, unless we're getting incredibly lucky, don't seem to be as strong as they used to be. <laughs> yeah, man. Total wipe. That's what we like to see in these parts. That is what we like to see. And that was what you call a dump of XP. Yeah, very happy. Very happy with that. Okay, let's keep going. What else do we have on these uh, frozen wastes? Nothing so far. But we know there should be more things. Where are they? Oh, we've got another looper. Uh, you know, let's just attack. I mean, these looper guys don't seem to be too bothered about running away. Let's go for Lombarda burst. Everybody else can just attack. Now, does that kill them? It doesn't. Okay. They're kind of immune to damage. Yeah, well, it looks like our luck ran out with that one. But that's okay. And we've got a very paltry amount of gold and supplies. All right. Well, can't win them all. Now, where are we on the map? Oh, we're like over here somewhere. Um, right. Now, where is my feathered friend? Ah. Here we go. We have found the ice bird, which is rather glorious, uh, I guess. A strange bird that lives on the islands of ice. Its small wings are not suited for flight, so it feeds by jumping for fish that float nearby. They are model parents. Males and females take turns caring for an egg, never leaving it until it hatches. Excellent! That's what we like to hear. So, next. Oh, hello. After more glorious com. Oh, glorious combat. We have Valgans. Uh, somewhat powerful things. Like horrible, spiky, stabby doodads. Although they're not very strong, which is good. Right, let's... You know the drill. Ooh. Stores health, yeah. Let's just go for the Lombarda burst. Or Lambda burst, I should say. Eat your own time, girl. There we go. Kill them all. Yes. She is the MVP. Now, was that actually worth it? Eh, not bad. Not bad. Ranked up. Nice. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, so, we want... To actually... Come over here, I believe, to the north, is it? Yeah, this kind of direction. And we should... Somewhere... Find... What we're looking for. At least, that's the theory. Ooh, more of these guys. Well, that's okay. Lambda Burst should kill pretty much all of them, if not all of them. Yes, that's a wipe. Wow. Definitely. Oh, Moonberry as well. Uh, how many Moonberries do we actually have? Should have a few by now. Uh, right. Let's check it out, shall we? Super moves. So we've got three Moonberries. That's not bad. Can we actually use any of them, though? N no. Well, once we get to the next bit of story progression, we should actually have everything we need. Um, okay. So, what we're looking for here... Oh! I believe that's one of the big bosses that we can potentially fight but we don't want to fight it 
because we're lacking a crew member that will make that way more worth our while. So where is... Jellyfish. Interesting. All right, well, you know the drill. Didn't work very well, did it? Didn't work very well at all. And we're getting an absolute thrashing here. But that's fine. We have plenty of health to hold us over. You know, maybe if they have these world-renowned engineers, they could set up some kind of uh, close-in defense system. Get rid of the mouse. Didn't realize that was there. Uh, yeah, some close-in weapon system. Now, if we mash the A button, should eventually find it. Come on. Where are you? Yeah, this one just requires us to mash A like crazy. We might want to actually heal ourselves up in a minute as well. Ica is not looking too fantastic. Nice. Okay, let's heal up before we go anywhere else, shall we? Uh, level 34. Nice. We really need Enrique to start catching up, though. Because he's falling behind. Uh, let's just use some of these. They're cheap and expendable. Talking of cheap and expendable. How much money do we have? Oh, nearly 100,000. Yeah, we're, 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 we're financially in a very good way. Okay. So where the hell are we now on the map? We're there. Right. Um, can I go forwards, please? Ah, not into a battle. Man. I like battles as... Ooh. I like battles as much as the next man, but... Kind of... Want to find what I'm looking for as well. I don't mind them actually staying and fighting. That's good. Ah, oh, come on. Come on. I'm happy to kill two of them, though. I'd like to kill three. Well, two. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, nearly 3,000 gold and 10,000 XP. That is just so freaking worth it. Alright, let's try this again, shall we? Mashing the A button. Come on, where are you? There's no point in hiding. I know you're here somewhere. You sneaky git. Might have to do this one off camera. Ah, oh, these things. I don't like these things. And they've debuffed us all as well, which is rather indecent of them, if you ask me. Come on. Come on. Can I have a turn, please? Thank you. Uh, oh, we can go for Reign of Swords. Let's see how that works, shall we? I'm hoping that's actually... Ooh. They're whipping out some serious magic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That'll do it. I mean, I give these things credit. They don't run away. So, you know. We are getting poisoned by just about everything, though. But that's okay. Now, is... Yeah, yeah, I guess they're kind of worth fighting. As Fina levels. And Enrique levels as well. And learn, well, it doesn't level, but it learns spells. Learning spells is important. And was, did I just hear my doorbell go? Eh, 
maybe. I don't care. I'm not expecting anything. Um, okay, okay, okay. So where is this thing? We're looking for like an ice cube, basically. That has a creature trapped inside. But it doesn't look like it's going to plan. Alright, Cutlass Fury. Kill. Everybody else just pile on. You know the drill. Standard drill for fighting these looper things. Right, okay. Can't do Reign of Swords, sadly. Hit him with a burst. Ica knows what to do. As she just like murders everything. Causing the great extinction. Hey, look at that. Two levels. Very nice. Very, very nice. And a Dexa seed. Cool. Right, I'm going to pause it here, guys. And I'm going to run around and try and find what we're looking for. And we got it. Uh, <laughs> the compass didn't actually spin for this. So I was just randomly mashing A and we finally got it. Uh, a giant furry animal perfectly preserved in ice for more than 20,000 years. It is unknown how the creature became to be frozen here. Perhaps it fell into a crack in the glacier whilst chasing its prey. Or was instantly frozen in some catastrophe. Yep. We may never know. So with that. I think we're pretty much ready. Uh, I mean, there is some more space over here. I'll probably fill that in. Uh, otherwise, it's just gonna kind of going to bother me. I don't think there's anything down here. Should we have a look quick? It's not going to take us too long, I guess. Let's just go fill the map in. So that's where the actual uh, one of the four optional bosses are. Oh, this is where the... Ah, oh, we're kind of going the wrong direction. No, we're not. It's just a little bit confusing because the map wraps around on itself. But it is what it is. It doesn't look like there's any like rare fish here or anything. Ah, uh, these things. Uh, I think we'll just fight them as normal. I can't remember if we can actually hit these with that Lambada burst. It doesn't matter. They don't seem to take too much to kill. Yeah, we're pretty much wiping them out. Nice and easy. Nice. Now, hopefully that should net us another 1,000 XP. Uh, no, not really. Not quite, huh? Ah, well. So, let's keep exploring. Ah, this is the Dark Rift. Yeah, we can't do anything with this. So, there's no weird fish or anything here. I would have thought there would be, like, some kind of pocket of... Uh, Rare fish that we could harvest, but nope. Uh, standard enemies, that's fine. Just go for a standard fight. Certainly wasn't really worth our time. Yeah, everybody is fine. A little bit more XP. So, where does this dark rift kind of... Peel off. Ooh. There is some stuff here. Ah, look at that. That wraps right round to Moonstone Mountain. Interesting. Okay. Well. We don't need anything from there. Right, I think it's time we head towards the Dark Rift. So, I'll catch you guys when I get there. Well, looks like we found something else. Let's go grab this, shall we? You have found the paper airship. Well, that's not even in my notes. But I, I, I mean, it is, but I think it's considerably further down. 
Nobody knows how this piece of paper survived the trials of the ages, perhaps. Uh, it is a mystery that will never be solved. Some say that inscribed upon the paper is a map to a fabled land, but nobody knows the truth. Uh, why don't, why don't we just, why don't we just, like, grab it? No? Okay. Okay, guys. Right. We are back. Now, uh, in my absence, I have pretty much explored loads of places. I've sold loads of stuff to the merchant. I've rested. I've bought us some more supplies, just healing uh, crystals and stuff of that nature. Anyway, let's go. Let's go and uh, see if we can't crack this dark rift. Might be wise saving it, actually. Can't actually remember uh, what happens when we go through the dark rift. Now, staying at the inn was free. Look at that. <laughs> it's been over an hour since I last saved it. Um, anyway. That looks like the entrance to the dark rift. Oh boy. More combat. Now, I think Fina went up a level, although I'm not sure. You guys might have seen that. Okay. Now, before we go through, I think we have one more discovery to find. And why do I... Ah! I thought as much. The game was actually running faster. <laughs> I forgot to slow it back down again. Yeah, so before we go through here, I'm pretty sure there is one more thing to find. Uh, yeah, blimp rack, and it is, oh god, don't want to get too close, kind of in this, ah, area somewhere. One of the final discoveries to make. Where are you? Oh, there's some of these rare fish that we've heard so much about. Yeah, they're B class, so that's good. Uh, right, now one of these islands, I think it's that one. Or, you know, maybe not, should have a wreck on it for us. Well, looks like we're going to have to take out the trash before we can go through there. Well, sometimes the trash takes itself out. Sure, this is where it is. Now, it's on one of these bloody islands anyway. Not that one. Come yeah, man. Don't be hard. Don't play hard to get. Ugh. They always play hard to get, honestly. Almost as if they don't want to be discovered or something. Um, no, we're too far out. Definitely back here somewhere. It's on one of these bloody floating rocks. Now we have some rather large flying fish to kill. Ooh, Ica, that's what we like to see. Very much so. Should be able to take this last guy out. Should be. Optimistically. Yeah, man. Ah, oh, you get. There we go. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Keep filling us with gold. Gold and XP. Because that is what we run on in these parts. Gold and XP. Come on, where is it? I know it's on one of these. Probably not that one. I know it's in the middle here somewhere. It's not you. Ah, there we go. You have found the blimp wreck. Before the advent of ships, uh, blimps ruled the skies as the means of exploration. 
Here lies the ruins of one man's dreams. He tried time and time again to repair his blimp and cross the dark rift, but was defeated by fierce winds. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Blimp was never going to have the power to get through there. So, you know. Still, I have a feeling we're going to succeed where he failed. And I'm kind of looking forward to these lands to the east. Untouched by this civilization for millennia. Hey, nice. Definitely need to start bulking uh, Enrique up. Anyway, let's go. Let's push on through the Dark Rift. It looks like we can get inside the Dark Rift through here. Enrique, are you ready? Well, I mean, we don't really have much choice, do we? Ah, uh, let's go. Yes, I'm ready. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at this point. We must get through the Dark Rift, no matter what. Don't mind me. I'll be fine. This is neither the time nor the place to be complaining about air sickness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so here we are. This is kind of a weird little area. This is actually technically a dungeon. Uh, but we're in our ship. So, that's a thing. Right. Let's drop a save there. What are we doing? We're on 27. Notice our ship looks a little bit different. Like, the textures are pretty rough, to say the least. Uh, anyway. Let's set sail and see what we can find in the Dark Rift. There's actually a discovery to make in here. Somewhere. Guess we're just going to keep going forwards. Question mark. Hmm, it looks like we've come out the Dark Rift on the same side we went on in. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> uh, that didn't go to plan now, did it? Let's try that again, shall we? Okay. So. Did we try going this way? This ominous... Ooh, look at this. We have like a wormhole through the rift. This is fine. This is totally fine. Ooh. Ah, this is so cool, guys. I remember this. I think... Uh, I'm not exactly sure how many discoveries are in here. Let's see what we've got to fight in the Dark Rift. Ooh. Blobs and flat fiends. Okay. Well, let's see what Lombarda Burst does, shall we? Okay, well, they don't seem to be that strong. Which is good. Yep, that's still working. Take this, you cur! Enrique, you're such a ponce. Honestly. That was easy. Gonna be the first ship to navigate the Dark Rift. And I'm feeling good. So look at this. You received moss armor. This treasure chest used to... Oh! a treasure chest? I mean, of course it's a treasure chest. Right, let's go to the bridge a minute. Because we're actually on half an hour here. Oh, look at that. We actually have the windows down. That's so cool. The remains of so many ships are down here. It's kind of scary when you think about it. Ah, uh, we'd be fine. I like how everybody acts. Wow, look at all those sunken ships. There are probably lots of ghosts roaming around outside. FaZe, let's get out of here soon. Yeah, I don't... I, we've already discussed ghosts, Ica. If we can safely get through the Dark Rift, the country of Yafutoma should be somewhere on the other side. 
This place gives me the creeps. Let's hurry and finish what we came here to do so we can get out. Yeah, alright. Settle down. You not gonna say anything? Pow, pow, pow. Okay. Very insightful. There are lots of sunken ships down there. I wonder if there's lots of treasure. Probably. I see. These little armoured windows have little lookout slits in them. That's cool. You alright there, buddy? Y you good? Ugh, the ship is rocking so much. Please don't bother me right now. I I feel rather ill. Why don't you, like, go to the toilet or something, dude? Let's see if we can, like, actually go. I'm guessing we can't go outside into the dark rift because we'd probably get swept off but I guess we're gonna find out well no that's not true because we're going out to conduct glorious combat so hello you're just loving life get out of here quickly what are you going to do if we crash into something yeah well I have expert men at the helm we're fine I know my husband is out there, somewhere. Yeah, well, maybe we'll find him. It's weird not having Kazim yell at me every second. I kind of like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. He yells at us all day long. Men, we need to work hard so we can take down Valua. Yes, sir. Uh, more insightful uh, commentary there from my brave men. I like the way we do have these blast shutters that come down over these windows though. That kind of makes a whole lot of sense. I was going to say those glass windows are kind of, you know, fragile. Especially when it comes to cannon fire and stuff. So that's actually a pretty cool little detail. Can we go outside? It's too dangerous to go outside in this place. I should leave these doors closed and locked. Oh look, even though the locks are actually uh, set to yeah, um, the locked position. That's kind of interesting. But we still go out to fight. Okay, Vase. It's too dangerous. Yeah, okay. So we're not actually allowed to go outside unless there's, you know, a couple of fish on the deck for reasons. That's fine. Video game logic. So that's where the crew's at right now. Anyway, guys, we're on half an hour. So I'm going to leave this game here. When we come back, we're going to continue navigating the depths. So till then, guys, thanks for watching.